So I spent part of the weekend with my mum and I induced, introduced her uh, to some of the cast of characters on Watts Island. And we also talked about the Murdoch case, which I will hope to be doing an episode on Sunday on a podcast about what the jurors uh, thought and how they came to their conclusions. Um, but on this podcast, I've got quite a few things coming up. Do you know that Justin updated his subs with a community post and then subsequently that community post disappeared? Well, I have that community post. I don't know if any of you know or remember that Justin print screened a conversation I was having with one of my subs and put it on his channel. And so this is my way of returning the favor. Um, have to do that. And I want to talk about Miss Mensa and some of her theories and her claims and what she said about the Murdoch case. I also want to talk a little bit about AD and the ongoing campaign regarding AD and the truth channels. And uh, I also want to talk about some additional things. So this is all coming up on this podcast. Whether it's no, you don't accept me for who I am. If you did, you wouldn't tell your entire fan base or, or your subscribers that you're no longer talking to me and that you're full time back on the Shiner side. So. So I want to preempt this by saying that I'm no longer sub to Justin's channel, but um, I still occasionally will get his posts. Um, there's another woman that I was very close to on, on, on YouTube that I, I'm no longer sub to her channel, but sometimes I will get her shorts and I even get AD's um, posts, even though I'm not subscribed to AD. So, you know, I'm still able to catch things sometimes, even if I'm not subscribed to a channel. The other thing I want to say is that, you know, because Justin was upset with me that I stopped speaking to him, he tried to portray me in a certain way. And I'm going to set the record straight this year at some point. I don't have a particular date set on some of the things that he said about me that were not true. And, you know, he tried to um, portray me as NK and he used the word home. You know, I'm not going to say the other word because I want to make this advertiser friendly. You know, he tried to portray me as NK in regard to his, his marriage. Uh, and the weird thing is that I don't even need to be NK in regard to his marriage because he's not in a happy marriage to begin with. But, you know, that was part of his smear. And, you know, I'll explain that at another date. Um, and, you know, every time I had a good reason to pull away from him or to stop talking to him, he would go and say things about me that are not true. But I, like I said, I will explain that another time. But put it this way, um, he's not a happy person at the moment. And um, I think that for all that he tried to do with, with regard to me, I think that I'm very satisfied with what's going on with him right now. And that's what I will say as a preempt. I hope you're all sitting comfortably. Grab a cup of coffee wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing with your cleaning or in the car. I hope you enjoy this Simcast podcast. Relax, rewind, forget about everything, and listen. Anyway, so this is basically for people that want to know, people that have been coming to my channel and saying the Rusex have taken him down and all that kind of stuff. This is also for Justin Subs who... Some of them are my subs, some of his subs are my subs, or at least they come to my channel and listen to me every now and then. Um, now, I don't remember when he wrote this or published this uh, community post. It was sometime last week I was watching the Murdoch case. And the interesting thing is I was having serious problems with my um, internet connection. It was It kept cutting out. So I don't know if this is one of many um, community posts that he has published and then taken down for whatever reason, but I just happened to catch this. And because people have been coming to my channel um, asking me 
And I understand that because I have made videos about him in the past, you know, or saying to me that the Rusex, you know, this is all about the Rusex, you know, the fact that he hasn't been around or whatever. Well, this just goes to show that you should actually wait to find out the facts before you comment. Now, I know for a fact that Justin doesn't always tell the truth or what he will do is he will mix fact with fiction and he will always try and make himself look like the better person. That's what I know for a fact. So I don't know how much of this community post is true. And I think it was, I think he published it on Thursday, but I'm not 100% certain. And I just thought, you know, he'd print screened one of my conversations that had nothing to do with him and put it on his channel because he was still upset with me at that time. And, you know, he was still on his smearing campaign and, you know, he wanted to get me back for not speaking to him. So, you know, but I'm not doing this for any reason other than to update people who want to know. Now, like I said, I know that he doesn't always tell the truth and he mixes fact with fiction and he always tries to make himself look superior to another person. He said himself that he's more superior to me. That's what he claims. So I don't know how much of this community post is the truth, but I do believe that at least some of it is true. Um, he's probably trying to make himself look like the better person. Um, but I think some of it is true. I've always suspected that he was not in a completely happy marriage because of the interactions that I've had with him and because of certain things that he said. So he's basically letting you subs know that He's sorry he's been away and I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to leave it up at the end so that you can read it if you want. And who knows, by the time I publish this podcast, he could have written a new community post and who knows what he will be saying. But this is just to let you know that he did actually put out a community post last week that he subsequently deleted or it just disappeared. Maybe it's my laptop, but um, I think he he got rid of this. He deleted it not long after he posted it, maybe because he thought he was sharing too much. You know, for whatever reason, it, it disappeared. But basically, like I said, I'm not going to read it word for word. He's saying he's sorry he's been away. He's going through a lot in his personal life and he's not doing very well um, at all. Um, he says he's trying to his best to ensure I raise my children but there are many complications with their mother. She will take them out of state if I don't do everything she wants. So I'm on blah, 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 and, you know, stressed. She has taken them out of the state for two months before many years ago. Um, so basically he's saying that his wife is bossy. He, always, he's, he also referred to the fact that his wife is jealous because of his sudden rise on YouTube. Well, I don't know what rise he's talking about. <laughs> you know, if he had like 10 or 20,000 subs, then maybe I could call that a rise. But, you know, yes, he's got more subs than I, than, than I do. And I, I have no problem with that. But I wouldn't call his time on YouTube any kind of sudden rise. Um, you know, it's really weird how, actually, maybe not weird, if you know Justin and how he operates, which I do. You know, um, he never seems to take responsibility for his own flaws, his own faults or his own actions. It's just that his wife... Um, you know, he puts all the kind of blame on his wife and acts like he's innocent, um, which he's done with me as well. And notice he uses the word jealous, which he's also said about me, um, which is laughable as far as I'm concerned, because I don't see what there is to be jealous of. Um, anyhow, I'm going to start a new channel, he says in the last paragraph with the hope that I can once again get advertising revenue. I, I would I would imagine that money is a huge part of the issues in their relationship. I will keep this channel to advertise the new channel. I'll let you know when I get started. Much love and appreciation for you all. So for all the people, and there weren't that many, but there were some, for all the people who said, oh, this is all the Ruzex doing, well, it just goes to show you that you should find the facts out before jumping to conclusions. And that goes for anything, because I'm not even jumping to conclusions about this community post, because although I do believe that he's having personal issues with his wife, I do believe that. I absolutely do believe that. I don't necessarily believe that he's told the whole story of the reason why. And I don't necessarily believe that he's completely innocent in all of it either, because I know him. He will always try and make himself look like the better person. <laughs> you know how I love food. 
Well, I saw this recipe on YouTube yesterday. Fried rat, fried rat. And there were like 10 rats in this recipe that I saw the woman cook. Fried rat with mango sauce. <laughs> um, and, you know, the weird thing is that I would never eat that in a million years. But the weird thing is that um, when she actually finished frying the rats and she served the sauce with it, it actually looked really good. If I didn't know it was rat, I would dive in. Anyway, let's just finish this up. I think there is something to be said. You know that song, Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon, you come and go, by Boy George. You know, that song is about karma. Well, after all the things that Justin tried to throw in my direction, because he was upset with me because I stopped speaking to him, and how dare I stop speaking to him? Who am I? Um... You know, he tried to say that I was a 500 pound woman, that my photographs are not me. You know, he tried all sorts of things. You know, he, he, he you know, he, he went on a sweet and mean cycle, which is what people like him will do. I'll call them Nazis for now to make this friendly. Um, you know, he, he tried, he tried that. He tried, you know, the smearing and then he tried the hoovering. And, and I'll explain that at another time. But, you know, I do believe that he's getting his karma and you know I'm not going to sit here and pretend put it this way I wish Justin and his wife the best for the sake of their children you've got three or four kids with with your partner um I think it's best to work out your issues and try and stay together for the sake of your children even if the in love part isn't there anymore which I don't believe it is based on my interactions with him and based on what I know and based based on things that he said, um, I don't think the in love part of that relationship is there anymore. However, if, if it ever was, however, I do think that they've both done a tremendous job with their children. And um, I wish him the best of luck in his marriage for their sakes. And I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Moving on to... Um, Who's the next person? Oh, quite a lot to get through here. Uh, so I was listening to Miss Mensa and um, she was talking about the Murdoch case and she said that Murdoch is innocent, that she doesn't believe that he did anything wrong. She doesn't believe that he did anything wrong, that he's innocent. And that he will not only win an appeal, but once he gets an appeal and a, and, a, and a new trial, that he's going to be set free. <laughs> Sorry. People have the right to their opinions. And I have the right to say, what are you talking about? <laughs> she obviously didn't watch that trial. Either she didn't watch the trial if she knows nothing about it, or she thinks she's her news or her narrative is always superior to the actual traditional um, narrative. Um, because if you watch that trial and you watch everything else after it, you know, you will know. And maybe you can disagree with me if you want. And I'm a little bit deviating out of this What's Island thing. But I don't believe for one moment that he has a single solitary chance of getting a new trial. Not a chance. I don't think he has a chance of ever, ever seeing the light of day again. So I don't know what she's on, but you know, I think she creates her own fictional narratives to suit whatever, you know, her desires, so to speak. Um, so I disagree with Mensa completely on that. There's also some other things that she was saying that, you know, Shanann was always supervised when she was with the children. There was always someone there. I don't believe that Shanann wasn't allowed to be alone with her children for a second, because if that was the case, she would never have been able to take them out of state for several weeks. And when you're supervised, you have an especially appointed supervisor to be with you at all times, which Shanann never did. 
So that's another thing she made up and she's made up so many other things. So many other things. Uh, let's see who we have. Dave, 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 Dave. Right, I might. <laughs> another cast of characters on Watts Island. Another huge member of the cast, I would say. Dave says, if we don't believe NK was involved, then we should all get and I'm not going to say the word because I'm always trying to make my podcast advertiser friendly and listener friendly. Basically, Dave says Nicole Kessinger is involved. He's proved it. And if we don't believe it, then ta-da! Come on, Dave. How many times are you going to try and hoover that one? <laughs> oh, she will never be where Chris is. You know that, right? But I, I, I guess it's good for viewing and super chats and all that kind of stuff. And last but not least of What's Island is the never ending campaign against AD. Um, look, I don't like AD's content. Never have, never will. When it comes to uh, what he does in terms of twisting, twisting narratives and all the other things that he does. However, I think if it was Frankie's lawyer, lawyer's job to sort him out, to sort AD out, to get that matter sorted, and Frankie's lawyer, who we found subsequently is not a lawyer, didn't get it sorted because she wasn't a lawyer. And his real lawyers are not doing anything. So I think the Truth Channels should give up on that. That's just my advice. Does that, does that mean that I have anything against anyone um, saying what he's doing is right or wrong, no. Um, but you know, it that was that you're doing the job of what Frankie's lawyer was supposed to do or, or is supposed to be doing. And a lot of money has been given to Frankie to get AD sorted, and to this day, nothing has happened. So, why waste your time? I, you know, you have so much talent, all of you, you can find something better to do with your time than than honing in on AD because he's not going to stop if, you know, he will keep going if he's allowed to keep going. And that's exactly what's happened. So I'm going to leave this community post up for you to all read. Um, quite frankly, if I'm being very, very honest with you, you know, like I said, I wish Justin and, and his marriage the best. I wish his family the best. I wish him health and everything like that. I'm not interested in being befriending him or making up with him. We're not going to make up in any way. Um, you know, I think it's best that we don't interact. But I wish him the best. Um, quite frankly, I think that uh, he should concentrate on working on his family and working on his personal life. And I don't think he should come back anytime soon, if at all. That's what I would prefer. But, you know, I'm not here to tell anyone what they should do with their lives. It's up to that person. And uh, I, I think that his focus should be on his wife and his kids. And that's that he should not come back anytime soon. That's what I think. <laughs>